Hi, so I'm here to talk to you about a project that I'm working on called uh, Learn Storybook. And you can find it at learnstorybook.com. And what it is is uh, kind of exactly what the name says it is. It's a tutorial that helps you uh, learn storybook. It's nine chapters. And it walks you through uh, pretty much learning storybook from the ground up, uh, getting the highlights and the core principles of it. So a little bit about me. Uh, I am a designer, um, product designer at Chroma. At Chroma, we build a tool that, uh, called Chromatic that helps you test uh, UI components. Um, it hooks into your CI and pretty much automates the whole process of visually testing uh, UI components. Um, prior to that, I worked on open source extensively. Uh, I helped launch a Polygraph QL, and I worked on uh, Meteor framework that you might know about. So, how many people in the room have uh, heard of Storybook? Raise your hand. That's, that's, that's a lot. By, uh, for the people that didn't raise their hand, I hope by the next time I see you, you will have learned Storybook. So, here, uh, who here uses Storybook? Raise your hand. Smaller amount of people. So, a lot of people have heard about it. Not a lot of people have used it. And I'm here to change that. So for the people that have raised their hand, or that raised their hand earlier, uh, you're in pretty good company. Uh, pretty much the, the most popular and uh, household names in tech um, all use Storybook. Uh, if you're a front-end developer that's looking for a job right now, which a lot of you um, uh, may be, chances are you're probably gonna, going to encounter Storybook in your, in your next job. So what's all the hype about? If you're like me, you've probably uh, heard about it and kind of immediately dismissed it. There's so many uh, dev tools and libraries to keep track of these days, it's, it's kind of impossible to, to, to even like begin. Um, but all these companies use it. And so you, you might be wondering, like, well, why, why, why do they use it? Like, whoa, what's the point? So before we get into what Storybook is, let's talk about what the future of uh, UI development is. So right now, UI is uh, UI engineering, and uh, it's kind of undergoing a renaissance. And it's powered by uh, these like, modern view layers like React and Vue and Angular. And the core concept there is that the modern, these view layers encourage you to think in components, not pages. And so apps these days are actually composed of lots and lots and lots of components. Um, and they have, uh, in React, there's a specific tooling or specific techniques that you can use, like props and context and, and state, to help you render these like, UI components and render them in a bunch of different like, variations. But with, with all these like, new ways of, uh, of rendering the UI um, with, with the aforementioned techniques, um, you end up needing new tools to do it too. And Storybook is one of those tools. It, it's a, it lives alongside your app in development mode. Um, and what it does is that it helps you uh, develop components in isolation. And the reason why you want to develop components in isolation is because you disentangle your, your business logic from your kind of like stateless functional components. And in doing that, it helps you uh, reason about them in much more intuitive ways. So the idea is that you pass your props in context and state to, to your component. And your component is responsible for uh, for rendering it in, or Storybook is responsible for rendering your component uh, using all that, the variations in, in, in data, and thus yielding uh, more, thus allowing you to keep track of um, all the, the permutations that your component is supposed to support. And so, because you keep track of all the components or all the permutations that your component supports, uh, it allows you to build durable UIs faster. So as you can see here, your company usually has like a, a component library or 
is definitely, definitely has a component library if you're building in React. Um, your app consumes those components, and Storybook helps you build and index those components. So you might want to, to try Storybook out, but what, what's like the best way to get started? Uh, thankfully, I'm here, and I, <laughs> I released a project called Learn Storybook. And what Learn Storybook is, is, is a tutorial that walks you through the basic, um, basic storybook techniques uh, from the ground up. And we do that by uh, walking you through building a UI, com uh, a UI from, scr from scratch. So Taskbox is like a, an Asana-like UI. And you'll be building uh, what you see on the screen um, from the smallest component out to the, the screen. And along the way, you'll have co uh, code commits to help you keep, stay in sync. In addition to that, it goes over this technique called uh, component-driven development. Um, and what component-driven development is, is that it's building, it, it's a technique that builds uh, UIs from the bottom up, starting with components and ending at screens. And in doing that, uh, you're able to scale the complexity that you're faced with at each, um, at each level. In addition, uh, what Learn, Learn Storybook also talks about uh, the ways that you can test um, your UI with Storybook, uh, specifically involving unit tests and snapshot tests and uh, visual regression tests. And you also learn how to deploy Storybooks so that you can collaborate with your PMs and designers um, and kind of close that feedback loop. So who's Learn Storybook great for? Our goal is to create the most efficient tutorial. <laughs> We're extremely aware of like developer time. And so um, what we want is for uh, veteran developers, new grads, and product designers um, to walk through our tutorial. So for veteran developers, we only cover the hits. Um, it, you can th kind of think about it as like the Cliff's Notes for this tool. In about two hours, you're going to get every. You're going to learn everything that you need to know. For new grads, um, as I said, uh, as I said earlier, a lot of the companies that you want to be hired at, or you're going that you're or you're going to be hired at, uh, use this tool. It kind of behooves you to 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 learn. Um, and for product designers, if you want to learn about uh, the nuts and bolts of building a UI component library from scratch, um, there's no better tool to do that. So since launch, about 30 days ago, we had an enormous reception from the React community. Uh, 3,500 uh, unique developers, 208 GitHub stars, uh, 14 merge pull requests, eight contributors, and two languages now. And I started this project with uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Tom Coleman. And we were quickly joined by a lot of contributors and who all share the same, uh, sh share the same goal, which is kind of promoting this idea of component, componentized uh, development um, to the world. And the thing is, we also need your help. Um, the easiest way that you can help is just by using the site, um, learning Storybook. Uh, that would kind of validate what our, our goals. You can also start on GitHub and uh, share it with your colleagues. If you're particularly motivated, um, or if you want to dip your, your toes into open source, uh, you can contribute back to Learn Storybook. If you follow this link right here, learnstorybook.com slash contribute. And there you'll find uh, instructions for how, uh, what, type of, what types of contributions that we're looking for. Things like uh, copy editing, um, really basic, uh, all the way out to uh, writing new chapters that uh, talk about the best practices um, in component development. 
and also um, maybe even porting it to to other view layers like view uh, like view and React or like view and Angular. So that that concludes my presentation. I hope you guys check out LearnStoryBook.com. Um, it's open source. Uh, I'm doing it here out of like because I, I love it, um, but I encourage you to, to check it out too. Okay, so I think the question is how do you incorporate a, uh, a kind of like a ready-made component library like yes. Material UI or Bootstrap into something like Storybook? Well, the cool thing is like Storybook is kind of like a container for all of the components that you get for free from, from Bootstrap. And your job as you kind of like can customize and, and develop a top Bootstrap, like your own custom theme for Bootstrap, is uh, to put those components into Storybook um, where, where they then get showcased. You mean like Storybook as whole, like styling for components, Yeah, that's right. Um, Storybook follows the styling and specific styling conventions of the ready-made framework, and what it does is that it it allows you to pass in like the the, the props and context and state um, that you would expect from React to kind of adjust those UI components that you get out of the box from those frameworks. Uh, are there any React Native Storybook examples? In fact, yes. I was just talking to um, Orta at, at Artsy, and they use uh, they use React Native um, with Storybooks, so it's it's there. The cool thing about it is that there's a hell of a lot of people um, contributing back to to that project. I think it has like twenty two thousand like GitHub stars, and there's like an active team of like contributors that are just working to make that project even better. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.